here's another example of um, two linear equations that need to be solved. In other words, you need to find the place where the two lines cross. And uh, we're going to use the method of substitution, which means I'm going to take one of these two equations and solve them for one of the two variables. And as I indicated before, the most, um, most promising case would be where you have a variable that has a 1 as a, a coefficient, but in this case, none of the variables in my equation have a 1. All right, so which one do I take? Well, I'm going to take this right here, my first equation, and solve this equation for y, since the coefficient is 2, I, I tend to look for the smallest coefficient. All right, so I'm going to then solve this equation for y. First, I move the 3x across, so I get 2y equals, when I move the 3x across, this becomes minus 3x plus 14. And now I don't want a, y, a 2y there, I want a y, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. <clears throat> and so this becomes y equals minus 3 over 2x plus 7. So there's my first equation. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to label, hey, there's my first equation. Now I take my second equation and I'm going to substitute what y is equal to back into my second equation. So instead of y, I will write minus 3 over 2x plus 7. So this is 4x plus 5 times, instead of y, I write minus 3 over 2x plus 7 equals 21. There's my second equation. And now I go ahead and solve that second equation for x. And of course, then when I'm done with that, I'll plug that x back into my first equation to solve for y. So first things first, I'm going to multiply this through that to get rid of parentheses. So we have 4x, 5 times a minus 3 over 2x, that's a minus 15 over 2x. Um, 5 times 7 is 35, so plus 35 equals 21. Okay, I still have a fraction in there, and I don't like fractions, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So multiply the left side by 2, multiply the right side by 2, like so. So this becomes 8x minus the 2 cancels out, so we get 15x plus 2 times 35 is 70 equals 42. Now I go ahead and move all my numbers to one side, leave all the x's on the other side, so I have 8x minus 15x equals 42 minus 70. So I have a plus 8 minus 15, that's a minus 7x. I have a 42 and a minus 70, that means minus 28. Divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, that cancels out, so x equals a positive 4. Remember, when you divide a negative number by a negative number, you get a positive number. All right, I now found the value for x. Again, that's the x-coordinate where the two lines cross. So now I want to find the y-coordinate, and I can do that by plugging this 4 back into this equation right here, where I find x. And so this equation now becomes y equals minus 3 over 2 times 4 plus 7. So y equals 2 goes into 4 2 times, so this becomes 2 times negative 3 or minus 6 plus 7, or y equals 1. All right. So that means that the point or the, the place where the two lines cross have an x-coordinate of 4 and a y-coordinate of 1, so the solution would be 4, 1. Just to make sure we did this correctly, let's plug these two values back into my second equation to make sure, and maybe this form right here. So I'm going to take this equation right here, plug the x and y values in there to make sure that that equation still holds. So I have 4 times instead of x, I'm going to write 4 plus 5 times, instead of y, I'm going to write 1. And if I did everything correctly, that should equal 21. So 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 5 times 1 is 5. And sure enough, 6 plus 5 is 21, so that is the correct solution to this.